Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ash and Stone channel. I'm Chris and today I'm going to give you a quick tip on getting base materials onto your movement trays. For example, this 3D printed one here. Uh, this will work just fine for 3D printed or MDF, uh, whatever floats your boat. So rather than painting on uh, the glue and your base material with a brush, which is just going to take far too long, what we're going to do is we're going to use a roller like this. Now this particular roller is just a, an artist's sponge roller with a bit of PVC pipe over the end of it. You can get rubber ones uh, from art stores if you want something a bit more professional, but this here will do the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of plastic down and we're going to grab a little bit of PVA glue and just put a couple of lines of that across. That will be more than enough for this job. Use our roller and we're just going to roll that around and get a fairly even coat. That can go to the side. Grab our base and then it's just a case of moving the roller backwards and forwards and it'll put a nice thin layer of glue just on the top surfaces. Of course, it's not going to roll for me now, but I'm sure you get the idea. You want to make sure you're using something hard for this rather than the sponge, because that'll make sure that the glue doesn't go down into the gaps at all. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Right, so now we'll grab our basing material. In my case, it's going to be grout mixed with sand. And we simply dump that in there and smush it around to get a good covering. A few taps on the back, wipe off some of the excess. And there we go, it's looking pretty good already. Now that we've got that on there, I've got a little sprayer bottle here with a mix of isopropyl alcohol and water. And we're just going to give everything a bit of a spray down with that, just to make it lightly damp. And then I'm going to use a syringe, uh, you could use a pipette or something like that, and it has a mixture of water and PVA glue on it. And we're just going to put down a couple of spots of that. Just lightly in the, uh, the larger areas here. And that will soak through to the smaller areas. And help to further stick the grout and soil mix down. Just like that. So we'll come back in 10-15 minutes once that has dried and I'll show you the result. Or I could cheat, here's one that I prepared earlier. Uh, so all I've done in this case is painted the circles black and you can see the, uh, the base material stays down there nicely, ready for static grassing. The edge to be tidied up and your figures to sit in it. That was real cool. Easy. Hope that helps. We'll see you all next time.